Welcome, I've got a little video here for you and I want to put together a little video about what I believe, in my opinion, this is an opinion, uh, the best streetable clutch setup is for M20s, M50s, uh, for higher horsepower, turbocharged applications. And we're not talking crazy horsepower, but in the four to 500 horsepower range, having a streetable clutch that really works. The very first thing I want to mention is the key to this, having the streetable clutch that handles more power is going to a 240 millimeter flywheel. So let's just start real quick by unboxing this and we'll pull it out on the table so you can see. But the 240 mil flywheel, this is from RHD Engineering in Australia. Let's scoot this back right here. This is the key. This fits M50s and M20s. It just depends on what starter you have. So the only difference between the M20s and the M50s as far as flywheels fitment goes is the, the ring gear for the starter. So in that case, you must get an M50 starter for the M20. So if you're putting this on an E30 with an M20, even if you're using the G260, just go ahead and grab uh, the starter for the M50. It has the right amount of teeth that mesh up to the correct amount of teeth on your ring gear for the flywheel. So what's nice is you can get a brand new starter and these are only like 140 US dollars. To me, I feel like it's just worth getting. Like you don't ever have to worry about starter problems again if you just buy a brand new one from Bosch and thankfully the M50 cars, it's not very expensive at all. And these are seriously from like 1992 to or 2004, it's all similar. So that's one thing that's absolutely necessary is you just need to match your flywheel to your starter for the ring tooth count. So that's the biggest difference for M20s. That's why everyone always asks, can I use an M50 flywheel on my M20? Uh, even if you have one of the ZF5s or the 260s, you just have to match what your ring gear is to your starter. That's it, okay? The key about this flywheel is that it is a 240 millimeter. M, uh, M50s and M20s use a 228 millimeter flywheel, and that's the diameter of the, of the clutch disc. And typically, the more surface area you have for a clutch, i.e. the bigger diameter, the more torque it will hold. So, and uh, that's if you don't have multiple discs. But this right here is the biggest that you can go essentially that would be an OEM fit for BMWs. Now you're like, okay, well, you've got that and you've got the starter, what clutch do I actually use? You wanna use the Sax 762 flywheel, uh, and or sorry, pressure plate and disc. So this comes from an E34 or E28 M5 and they have a standard model and then there's a performance model that is the 762, uh, or sorry, 765 pressure plate. So when you buy the kit, this is the standard kit, uh, but you can buy the upgraded M5 version, which is the seven, um, yeah, the 765 plate, but you can just use the standard disc. And this will hold with this pressure plate about 450 foot pounds of torque uh, reliably. I think at this point, I'm actually probably a little bit over that on my current turbo car running the same setup on an M30, but it is uh, what you would run it. So this disc fits this flywheel, and then you wanna go with this pressure plate. So the 240 mil pressure plate is significantly beefier. It has stronger springs, more pressure to push the clutch against the flywheel. So really what you're looking for is the SAX 240 millimeter and part number ending in 762. Uh, sorry, 765, I don't know why I keep saying that. But basically that right there is going to be your best shot for a streetable clutch 
that is a little bit beefier. So when you give it pedal feel, your pedal feel is gonna be a little bit stronger and it will feel a little bit stiffer, but it's gonna hold a fair amount of torque and it will drive very streetably. It won't, uh, it won't go crazy and really grab a lot. What you can do to upgrade this if you wanna go a step further and get into the 500s and 600 foot pound of torque range is go with a center disc. So you go with the six puck disc where instead of the disc being completely round like it is here, it has six slots. It just looks like a fan of six fingers of, of material. And that will be the next upgrade above this. If you go above this, if you go above the six puck clutch with the 240 millimeter, I think you'd rather just wanna go straight into a twin disc. And Tilton makes a twin disc native for M50s, which you could also use on M20s as long as you have the right flywheel that I will link in the description. But the twin disc is completely set up from Tilton. They make their own flywheel. You can actually get a flywheel from RHD that also holds a Tilton, but the twin disc would be the step above that. So if you really wanna make power, you know, maybe you wanna make 800, 700 horsepower, just get a twin disc. Don't screw around. Uh, you can get some really crazy four pucks with this setup and you'll probably get there. But at that point, if you wanna have it to be more streetable and last longer at that higher power level, you're gonna to wanna to step up to a twin disc. But my overall pick for this is just using a 240 millimeter flywheel and the E34 M5 clutch setup. Uh, you have to be careful out there, depending on the part numbers for the pressure plate, like this one is not currently the 765 part number. It's just their, the standard M5, but there is a Sax Performance upgrade. The, flywheel, the pressure plate is about $350 US. It may go up or down. It, it just varies every time I look. Um, but that one is an upgrade. And like I said, this one's good for like 450 to 500 foot pounds. It, people will tell you, you know, I've, people have slipped it at lower. People have made a lot more power and been okay. It depends on the weight of the car, how you drive it. There's a lot of factors that go into like how, how well a clutch holds up in a car. Uh, usually lighter cars are less hard on clutches. The clutch doesn't have to do as much, uh, work because it's not holding back all that weight while you're accelerating. So lighter cars, you'll usually get away with a, a lighter duty clutch, but this is my top pick. And I hope this helps someone out there. Uh, go support RHD. Their flywheels are really sick and they're lightweight. I think this is only eight kilograms and they shipped from Australia, no problems to the United States. I had zero issues ordering from their website. They have great customer service and I bought the Sax clutch kit from Auto Haas AZ as well as the Bosch brand new premium starter. So there you go. I'll put everything in the description. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna support more content like this, uh, please consider becoming a member or giving a super thanks. Thanks again, have a great one.